Hi everyone, my name is Kathy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to the Matrix server at Seneca College. Now, um, before you can connect to Matrix, you have to actually you uh, get the VPN software that we're using. Now, this was not always the case. This was something that was brought in relatively recently. So some of you may not have encountered this, even if you were formerly a student. And what you will find is that the way that you used to access things doesn't quite work anymore. So the VPN software is available uh, in uh, right here, and I'll provide the links in the comments below the video. Uh, but effectively, uh, there's a student VPN, you simply follow the instructions and so on. Uh, for Mac and Windows, uh, if you go to the VPN client section on the right here, uh, you will find the Mac and Windows install. If you are on a Linux system, then you can also try Open Connect uh, for VPN. That, so there, there are some options for you, even if you're not Mac Windows. Uh, now, um, if you are currently in China, I believe there's some extra things that you might need to do. So uh, the instructions for that are here. Okay. Now, uh, having said all of this, let's uh, take a look at what you would do after you've installed the software. So once you have the software installed, you need to actually connect to it. Um, I'm not sure what the window side looks like, but on the Mac, you just kind of click on the icon in the bar here, and then you put in your name and so on. So over here, uh, that's my user ID. Now my, my setup is a little bit more complicated than the student setup, uh, just the security is slightly different. So I have to do a little bit of extra thing here. And Okay, so in any case, username, password, and you will be connected. Now, once you are connected to the VPN, uh, you can then SSH into the server. Now, um, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this on my, for uh, Mac, and I'm gonna also do it, uh, show you the software for Windows. Now for the Mac, it's um, relatively straightforward. Here is uh, my, uh, you bring up the terminal application, uh, which you can find in the utilities folder start it up, and then you simply type SSH, uh, your username, at matrix.senecacollege.ca. Now, this is um, actually something that uh, you have to be uh, actually aware of. Uh, this part is called the host name, the, the, the name of the machine, if you will. And uh, it used to be that there were two names. There was uh, this one, and there was also a matrix.senecac.on.ca. Now that particular version, the, the one that is like senecac.on.ca, that version does not work anymore for the student VPN. Uh, so you cannot use it, you won't be able to connect. So instead of using that, please use uh, matrix.senecacollege.ca as your host name and you connect and now it's asking for my password. So if I simply get my password and paste it in, uh, I get connected. Now, um, if you are using Windows, uh, there are different SSH clients you can get. Uh, so I'm using one called Putty. If you have a different SSH client that you love, you can use that. It honestly doesn't matter. The most important thing uh, is that you get the right host name, and which is matrix.senecacollege.ca. Uh, connect in this manner, and what you will get is you will get the prompt. Uh, type in your username, password, and you will be connected to Matrix. Okay, so I hope that this is useful. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.